Hey, welcome to Two Doctors Homestead. My name's Daniel, and it's another beautiful 100-degree day out here in Texas, out working on the homestead today. I want to sit down in the shade for a minute. I've been thinking about gold a little bit lately. I got my, my fancy stack here, a big stack of gold coins. I want to talk about gold, where it actually gets its value from, and, and just talk about it as an investment vehicle, be it uh, in current times, good times, bad times and maybe apocalyptic times if that's what's coming hard to say but if you look at it, a study there was actually a study done in 2016 by Lucy et al and it was gold and inflation a time varying relationship and economic modeling uh, which was actually a great study read the paper on that um, and it had to do it, it talked about um, <clears throat> the, the modeling the economic modeling so basically they took gold the value of gold over time and they compared it against other measures such as the inflation computer consumer price index uh, M2 monetary supply they they ran it against a lot of other things Dow Jones industrial average S&P and whatnot so the idea was to compare gold against other assets right and try to determine where you have that that correlation between the two and I know a lot of people think and I thought for a long time that gold protects against inflation right you put two thousand dollars in gold and you're protected against inflation and we've certainly had plenty of inflation lately and actually based on the study that's not necessarily true right if you look at the compute consumer price index and compare it against gold going back to 1971 um, it was only accurate about 16 percent of the time so only 16 percent of the time did gold actually track the consumer price index right as it is now if you start to expand it out understand gold is globally traded right we hear about China buying up gold maybe Russia buying up gold Glo gold is a global asset and the consumer price index in the United States is somewhat localized right so it would make sense that say a global asset wouldn't necessarily track something that really is is local to us our inflation is not the same levels of inflation as everybody else right but I think that's a common misunderstanding now if you take the consumer price index and you expand on it right to include um, property collectibles financial assets um, and just general purchasing power so you sort of globalize the consumer price index you do get closer to tracking the value of gold, um, but you're still not 100% of the way there. Um, they actually found that the closest indicator is the M2 monetary supply, right? And that's a government rating, you know, uh, that tracks the estimate of the total money supply, including all the cash people have on hand, plus all the money deposited in checking accounts, saving accounts, and other short-term vehicles such as certificates of deposit. So it actually tends to track more on the monetary supply than inflation right so it's something something to keep in mind is gold a direct hedge against inflation not necessarily it's more of a hedge against the monetary supply as it relates to international assets as well and just the overall economy in general right and something I've mentioned before is uh, FUD Right, you look at what drives gold, certainly M2 monetary supply based on their, um, their study was a pretty good indicator of the value of gold as monetary supply expands and contracts. You see the value of gold changing over time. Um, if you look at the charts of gold, you usually have a few years where it goes up and then it contracts, and then a few years where it goes up and it contracts more or less, right? That's not true all the time and certainly no guarantee of future performance, right? This is not financial advice. I suppose I should have said that in the beginning, right? I'm not giving you financial advice. This is for entertainment value. Hopefully you stuck around to 4 minutes, 30 seconds before you sue me right not financial advice so um, FUD FUD certainly affects the price of gold fear uncertainty and doubt people do see gold as a stable asset so when people are concerned of de-dollarization financial collapse anything like that that would impact the value of the dollar certainly against foreign currencies or the global economy 
people tend to sell their stocks and buy into gold. When that FUD passes, people sell their gold and buy into stocks. And just like anything else, you can't time the market. It's actually not, not a thing. Maybe AI is getting better at timing the market, but as an investor, you can't time the market. So when there's a lot of FUD, which we've had recently, you see the price of gold going up. But as the stock market improves in value, as confidence returns, um, which it's done lately, actually, the stock market's doing pretty good. Um, whether you feel that's justified or not, people move out of gold and they, they get back into traditional assets. So the price does fluctuate. Um, so now in terms of performing, um, general performance gold does underperform. Right, historically there are good years and there's years that it outperforms the stock market, but generally it underperforms, underperforms most other formal investments, stocks, bonds, real estate, and everything else, right? It does have that ability to uh, um, protect, right? I, I was gonna say hedge against inflation. Once again, gold doesn't necessarily track inflation, but it does have a good ability to protect your investment. Once again, it can go down and has gone down recently. So gold in and of itself is not a guarantee, um, but it, it does have value. And we talked about uh, SHTF, right? People talk about a lot in the prepper groups. Hey, should I buy gold? Should I buy silver um, for the apocalypse? And once again, if your concern is economic collapse, D dollarization, your, your, your cash isn't going to be worth anything. The stock market's going to collapse. All right, I'm back. The camera's overheated twice today already. Maybe it's trying to tell me something, but in terms of SHTF scenarios, once again, if it's economic collapse, the gold might have a value as an asset carrying, living on beyond the United States as we know it. Um, if you're worried about things like World War III, nuclear war, EMP, something like that, certainly you can't eat the gold, right? And I'm going to eat one of these coins before we end if the sun doesn't keep shutting me down here. But in terms of an investment over time, if you want to talk about, hey, keep your gold. So in 1986, gold was 300, $390 per ounce compared to where it's at now, which is about 1900 an ounce right now. So if you had a thousand dollars, if you invested a thousand dollars in gold in 1986, um, you'd get 2.5 ounces. Once again, 1959 right now. So that investment would be worth five thousand twenty-three dollars. So your 2.5 ounces of gold you bought for a thousand dollars in 1986 would be worth about five grand right now, which is not a bad deal. I'm not saying that's a bad investment. However, if you compare it to the stock, compared to the stock market, a thousand dollars invested in Microsoft in 1986 would be worth three point two three million today. So gold doesn't quite have that same upside that a lot of other investments do and it said other than in high FUD, high um, high money printing times, economic uncertainty, those kind of times, gold itself does not perform as well as other investments. It does have its place and certainly I've got my my gold coin here. See it's melted the sun. The sun's killing me today. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. My favorite kind of gold. It's only the gold coins. It's a little bit messy. So I'm not saying it's a bad investment, right? I'm saying it could be part of your portfolio. I wouldn't go crazy buying a ton of gold coins. Once again, not financial advice for fear out of FUD. Right, FUD does drive gold, but the moment times get good, gold drops back down. And unless you have the uh, uh, financial... Um, understanding to shift your assets you could lose money once again gold does go down from time to time and there's a cost of acquiring the coins so thank you for watching i'm gonna get out of this heat now we appreciate you